watching the other videos that I've been posting within the last 24 to 36, 48 hours, somewhere around there. I don't know, these videos, they take forever to upload whenever I'm out at, um, on location at work. Um, I wanna talk about the Breeders' Cup Challenge Series races. There's gonna be three races on Saturday at Belmont Park. Race seven, the Ogden Fibs, if I said that correctly, Ogden Fibs. And then race eight is going to be the Jiper. Then, of course, race nine is going to be the Met Mile. Or I should say the Metropolitan, a.k.a. the Met Mile. That's uh, going to be a grade one race. Well, actually, they're all going to be grade one races. So lots of action, small fields. But hopefully we can get a price in one of these three. And hopefully the payouts won't be too low. And we'll make some money on this. So let's dive right in. All right, race seven, the Ogden Phipps is gonna be a mile and 116 on the dirt. It is for Phillies and Mare, four year old and up for half a million dollars. And the winner does draw an automatic entry into the Breeders' Cup Distaff. And of course, number one is gonna be Latruska, trained by Fausto Gutierrez. Jose Ortiz will be on board in the irons. Uh, let's see, the last race won at Oakland Park on April 23rd and earned a 111 in the Apple Blossom uh, stakes. Clarier came in second, so let's might as well talk about that because uh, Clarier, Clarier will be my second choice in this race. Uh, running out of post four, a 3-1 morning line odds trained by Steve Asmussen. Joel Rosario will be on board in the irons. Finished second, like I just said, to, to Latruska and er, earned a 109 Echo Bay speed figure. And I could have went with Malathab, but uh, that 97 Echo Bay speed figure in the last race on April 22nd in Keeneland. And the double dog dare stakes, uh, that kind of deters me from using her. So we'll see what happens. Very short field, short field of five. Bonnie South is going to be number two. Um, and search results will be running out of post position five for Chad Brown with Irat Ortiz. So... I mean, he could go straight to the front and challenge, but I just see, I don't see this horse lasting with horses like Latruska and Clarier, I guess, trying to semi-close or whatever. But depends on how the weather's gonna play out for Saturday, so keep that in mind. Um, I know everyone's gonna be singling Latruska, so keep that in mind as well. But hopefully uh, the four Clarier can get there and I guess stay at three to one. So we'll see what happens. And that's gonna be it for this race, on to the next race. All right, race number eight is gonna be the Jiper Stakes. Uh, and that's gonna be six, fur six furlongs on the Widener Turf Course. And the winner will draw an automatic entry into the Breeders' Cup Turf Sprint. So pretty much I have this as being a two, another two horse race. And my top pick of this race is going to be number five, Arrest Me Red for Wesley Ward. And Irad Ortiz Jr. will be on board in the Irons. Uh, last race on May 6th at Churchill Downs in the Turf Sprint uh, Stakes. And it earned a 90 Echo Bay Speed figure. So went a little bit slower, I guess you can say, uh, compared to the 103 and the 104 Echo Bay Speed figures it's ran before. But uh, defeated Gregorian Chen, who's also in this race that I'm throwing out. So it has a pretty good workouts coming in. So I'm gonna use the five and I'm also gonna use number eight, Scuttle Buzz for Rudy Rod, Ru Rudy Rodriguez and Javier Castellano will be on board in the irons. Uh, last race, April 30th at Belmont and Juan earning a 108 Echo Bay speed figure. And be pretty good horses like a uh, therapist and American Monarch. He's also beat Artemis City Limits before, so I mean he's got he has some class as as far as other races go, and at six to one morning line odds, uh, better than five to two. So that's pretty much gonna be it for this race. Also, Gear Jockey is gonna be in here, and he's listed at six to one morning line odds, but I'm throwing this horse out because he hasn't won since September 11, 2021. So yeah, he's. I closed the book on him a long time ago. But that's going to be it for race eight and on to the next race. And last but least, we have the Met Mile. It's going to be race number nine for a cool $1 million to be ran on the on the dirt. And the winner draws an automatic entry 
or the money to enter into the Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile. And it's a, probably the second race of the whole Belmont Stakes Festival festivities that everyone's been talking about. And that's gonna be number one, Flight Line, uh, racing against number two, Speaker's Corner. Flight Line's perfect, uh, three wins, three starts and three wins. And Speaker's Corner has a lifetime record of nine starts, six wins, one second and one third. And is also on a three, three race winning streak. And he's ran some pretty big or pretty good uh, speed figures, but compared to Flightline, Flightline's last race was a 126 in the Malibu over at Santa Anita, and then also ran a 127 the race before that, and a 111 in the maiden special weight uh, horse racing debut. So Speaker's Corner, last race one, ran a 115 Echo Bay speed figure, then a 119 and a 107 before. So the speed is there between these two. I personally think Flight Line is going to outlast Speaker's Corner. And for that reason, I'm not going to use Speaker's Corner uh, in the second spot. I'm going to use number four, Happy Saver, trained by Todd Pletcher, Irad Ortiz. Uh, this horse has been running at a mile and 116 um, distance. So hopefully the cutback, the, hopefully the extra cutback of the 116 will help improve his speed figure a little bit. And he's at eight to one more on odds. So it's all, it's gonna be all up to you, personal choice. Do you prefer Flightline or Speaker's Corner? Me, I'm, I have to go with Flightline. There's no going around it. Along with the thousands of other people that are gonna be singling him as well. But I'm gonna play it on two separate pick six tickets. I'll use single, straight singles on one ticket that I'm gonna press. And then I'll make a lesser value ticket with two horses for races just like this and the two previous races as well. So that's gonna be it for the Breeders' Cup uh, Challenge Series win and you're in. A uh, quick little rundown I just wanted to talk about. I'll be covering many more Breeders' Cup Challenge Series races as we go towards November for the Breeders' Cup. So stick with this channel, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. Let's get to a thousand subscribers by the Breeders' Cup. So leave a comment down below. Tell me who you like in each race, race seven, eight, and nine. And I'll reply back. If not, you can catch me on Twitter, at Derby Bandit. And I'll reply back to there as well. If I don't reply back during the day, it's because I don't have good service. But once I do get service, whenever whenever we're driving back and we catch service, uh, I'll be replying back to those comments as well. So that's going to be it for now. So thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the other videos that I have posted. You'll catch the cards somewhere up here, wherever YouTube decides to put them. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.